Hey guys, I know it's weird, I have my hands in the camera, but if I don't, the camera kind of has that weird, like, oscillating tendency, because it's only focused in one way. Look at this, that's what I mean. Um, welcome to this video. Today I received a little parcel from uh, John Honig from the Scenic Factory, and... Um, I decided I'll share what is in there with you guys. And uh, since it's quite a bit, we'll go over this stuff. I'll talk to you about where I will use it, um, what it is, of course, and maybe even give like a little preview of what is going to happen with this on my 502 diorama, which I ordered this for mainly. So, without further ado, let me get the first item out of the, the box, which is a tree. It's a spruce tree. Um, it has suffered a bit from the transport overseas, but I probably can just, like this uh, little note here says, just... Put an adhesive on the tree and then stick it back on. I will now open the bag to see the tree. So I actually haven't taken it out. I haven't seen the tree or closely inspected the tree, which I will do with you guys now. So let me do this like this. So Interior falling off. I can actually save it. Oh, this is a lovely little tree. I actually really like it. Um, it will just add a little more variation to my forest. Uh, so it's not only um, pine trees. I'll put this back in there without damaging it too much. And as you can see, Quite a bit that falls off, but like I said, no problem in reattaching this. I have spray glue, you can use hairspray. Um, it is to be expected if you order stuff like this from overseas that it might uh, be a bit beaten up, but nothing I cannot fix. The next product is this saplings or mini saplings. Um, as you can see, just A nice uh, array of them, nice amount of them. They will, of course, uh, act like smallish bushes and trees that have no leaves on them since we are in either early spring or late au or late autumn. So yeah, um, they add a nice. Uh, they they just add something. I I thought I saw them and I needed to have them, and they will of course go on the diorama piece. Next up is something that I saw similar to the saplings. It's fine fall growth. Um, I think it has a bit more richness to it than the saplings when it comes to branch material on it. And um, it will serve a similar purpose. Uh, I like this, uh, uh, the Scenic Factory um, Product always tells you what it is, and that's that's cool. The next box, and I have to say, I'm really looking forward to these. These are scenic shrubs, and these are mossy green. And let me open this. And uh, like I said, I haven't opened any of these boxes. Uh, I wanted to do this uh, life on camera with you guys. And those are, like I said, little shrubs. You know, look at these. They're beautiful. They even have some, some color variety to them. They are just beautiful. Yep. Really, really beautiful. Really looking forward to using them. They will add a lot of um richness to the diorama. Because right now I feel like it's a bit bland. Because there's, well, the trace. And then there's ground cover. And then there's one or two little bushes. And that's it. So... 
I really think that these will add a a lot of a lot of uh, variety richness to the diorama piece, just like these. These are um, this, it's the same product. It's scenic shrubs. But the, these have the autumn rust color, and I really love that color. John actually thought that that might be a bit too stark for my diorama piece, but I'm not sure. I think adding one or two of these will just add so much variety and so much color, and it's beautiful. I, I don't know. I think this, this this might be exactly what I need. So I'll, I'll, I'll try them, I'll see how it looks, and then I can still decide whether or not I want to tone them down with an airbrush, which is easily doable. But I think they're, they're fine, I think they're great. There's more guys, there's more. We have Caspia, yellow Caspia, so let me open the, the little box here. I, I like the, the plastic containers that the stuff comes in, really good sturdy on um, this hard to for the stuff to be damaged and again this is just something that will add a lot of variety to the diorama and to the this the nature and I want the, the the nature to be as closely resembling reality as possible and, and as it is right now I think it's just too bland and, and too simple so that's why I got all this lovely stuff and guess what there's even more we have field weed number two natural color um you can get these in in different colors I thought that this natural color will be the perfect one for the diorama I'm envisioning so I went with this and um, yeah looks really nice I don't think I need to open them because you can actually see how they look and what they are like I said you can get them in, in different colors um, beautiful stuff and now to the big items the ones I was looking forward to the most tree trunks um, distressed tree trunks. Um, when I bought the trees of the Don last year, uh, I, I still had a ton of plumosa fern left over. And, um, I, I thought, well, I can still use this. I don't want to waste it and throw it away. And, um, I think there's room for one or two more trees on the diorama piece. Other than the spruce. And I think some distressed trees, like smaller not as full trees will, will, will be perfect for this. So I ordered these, this is two distressed tree trunks, which are really nice. I, I love the bark texture and the distress and the broken texture there. This is just beautiful. And these will go on the diorama piece. I'm pretty sure about that. And then um, something I think you can never have enough of. And I could have gone out to the forest and collected this myself, but I'm just lazy. And I would have had to preserve them, I guess. So I ordered this. This is a large pack of pine sticks. Yes, I know. I know. But look at this. Like, beautiful. I love it. This will further enhance the, the diorama having some tree trunk or pine falling over. Look at this. The nice texture here. Just adds a lot. And yeah, I'm happy for this. And uh, I saw this and I thought, I need to have this. It's just something. Of course, like I said, I could go out and collect these. But the time I spent collecting these, I much rather sit here and use these. So, time snakes. And um, that's the last item. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with, with all this stuff. Everything looks really great. And what I'll be doing next is I'll be doing a video where I have the diorama piece and I will show you guys all of the products that I just showed you on the in the unboxing, how they go onto the diorama piece, um where I can use them, how I can use them, um what they do to your diorama piece, in which situations you can use them, for what uh you can use them. And this is just going to be like a 
little nature tutorial, how to create nature. I don't know if it's going to work out the way I intended to work out, but I think it will. So thank you guys for watching this little unboxing here, this little mail call video. Um, I see you guys around for my next video, hope. And thank you guys for the support. This is Hog Modeling. See you guys soon. Once again, thank you, John, for the, the nice stuff. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.